Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing 13 fragrance list and today I'll be redoing this list of fruity fresh perfumes that I do every year several times because this is one of my favorite genre and uh, type of fragrances because I live in a hot and humid uh, temperature where uh, Bangladesh is mostly hot and humid through year, the, throughout the year. So I post, uh, I put 13 fragrances randomly. There are many other perfumes which are fruity uh, there are great fragrances. Please don't ask where is my favorite this perfume. Uh, this is not the best of all time, I would say, but uh, there are some of my favorites. You know, you can try. Uh, I mix it up with designer, niche, affordable, a little bit less on, lesser known stuff with, uh, you know, my favorites mostly. These are something I wore a lot in my journey. And I think this fragrance you really, really enjoy. Uh, I'll give you a brief description on each. Check out my full review of each of these fragrances. 13 fragrances I'll start with. This fragrance called polo red okay this fragrance here has a lot of flankers and i love the intense one which is the one i never reviewed i never had i should buy that because that one is the best version of this perfume uh, this one what this this one is the uh, the fragrance offers red berries with the coffee okay and tea cool these three are the more uh, renowned notes uh, the fragrance smells very sweet very lovely smell i'll tell you one thing this is one of the best polo ever made polo green blue black this they're all great. Polo Blue is my most favorite. This is also my favorite perfume, okay? Uh, you will find these fragrances like in a box of like 15 ml, like the whole set you can buy blue, black, red. Get those. Those are more uh, interesting because you sort of like discover all of them. The longevity of this stuff is kind of on the uh, average side. This is why people bash it a lot, but I think the smell is amazing. The coffee is amazing. Uh, if you enjoy the fragrance like Salvatore Ferragamo, Vumo, or something like uh, Halloween Man X, okay? Those kind of scents, those, those are more beast mode, but this, the opening red berries, very beautiful. You'll enjoy the red berries from this, and I really like this bottle, Polo Red, 125 ml. This is number uh, 13, and you can also buy 200 ml of this stuff, I think, 180 or 200 ml. Those are massive bottles, you can respray all day. So, continue the red, um, like, fashion. Uh, the red trend this is a fragrance is getting very hard to find this I had before I sold it off I don't know why and I could not never find it recent times last year I found it in a shop and I'm just treasuring it every spray this is Hugo Boss uh, I think red Hugo by Hugo Boss in red or red okay I'll write down the name yesterday I did a review of a fragrance called Ferrari Scuderia red and I forgot to show you this bottle because they all like the color theme is like red and black it's so is this so really nice if you know Hugo by Hugo Man. This one comes with this kind of cap, so you'll never lose the cap. And back in the days, I remember when you used to press it like that, it would leave like a nice fingerprint or it's like a magic trick. You'll have your fingerprint, but the later batches perhaps remove that feature, which is sad. I had the older bottle that did that trick. Really like this bottle. And this is a unique perfume, very unique. Okay. It smells fruity, fresh. Kind of spicy and it has a note of rhubarb, okay, I think. Um, I think uh, George, Fragrance Apprentice, is the one who loved it a lot. He reviewed it a long time back. I watched his review and I got this fragrance. Didn't love it back then, now I do. Hugo Boss is one of the finest fragrances, easily, okay. It has very good longevity. You can wear this uh, like autumn time, uh, summer time, even winter time, morning time, you can wear this. Very, very interesting perfume. I was going to show you Lacoste Lome actually, which I also have. Uh, which also has features rhubarb, but nah, I kept it away. That one is now talked about, even the CK all. But this one, no one talks about. Hugo Boss, red. Check it out. This is number 12 for the rhubarb. So talking about fruitiness, next one is um, green apple based. Of course, all these fragrances have other notes and stuff, but I picked it up for particular note. This is Nautica's voyage. <laughs> People, when they say, oh my God, here we go again. Yeah, you know, like this is a this is a honey, uh, like a honey bunny sort of fragrance. Everybody loves it. Everybody wants to have a bottle. Crazy thing is in Bangladesh, someone is being sold for $40. Can you believe it? 40, 45 bucks. I've seen the price rising. All the fragrances have gone high, but this one, crazy expensive now. It's $25 fragrance has gone up so much. But again, you can find it a good deal. Most of the country, if you travel, get a bottle of this amazing fragrance. Like Nautica's Voyage is one of those staples in your collection for summer. Be small longevity, it has kind of like a musky, kind of cucumberish, salty, aquatic feel. But I really love the green apple note on this. Very uplifting, crisp. At first, I did not like it that much because it was weird. 
but slowly when you get used to the oceanic feel then you love this perfume nautica's voyage and uh, this is for the green apple next one top 10 we entering 10 i'm gonna go sean john unforgivable there are particular versions of it like uh, platinum edition and then some of the other ones uh, but i always had this and this fragrance is like very popular like was very popular rather in 2000s you know like 2000 10, 15, when the people started reviewing, you know, back in the days, I saw reviews absolutely everywhere. Uh, this is popular due to the fact that this is a clone of Millis Imperial, they say. But I have few of the other ones. Um, I have, uh, what's the fragrance? The cylindrical bottle. I forgot, what, nowadays I forget all the fragrance names. Then there's uh, like Club de Nuit. Oh man, the golden bottle. Millis Imperial's clone. Anyway, Siage? No, Siage is the. See, nowadays I forget everything. I'm so, so sorry. One is Edhar is Love and Luck. Yes. And <laughs> the other one is Milestone. Yes, double tap. Okay. <laughs> so, but I love this perfume. Even my brother Rahul Sharma, he loved this scent profile more than the other two. The Milestone will give you better miles. Okay. Longevity is through the roof. So this one, good longevity, but doesn't beat arm off. But the smell, it has for me, a lot of tangerine, oranges, citrus. And I also feel there's a hint of salty, watermelon i was going to show you um, ch Kevin herrera's chic for him but i'm showing you this this fragrance is so beautiful you have to try this if you are a fragrance lover a really beautiful polished bottle sort of looks like uh comme des garçons some of the bottles right like a pebble so this is unforgivable by sean john really nice perfume if you love uh Millicent imperial and i have to spray this tomorrow so next number nine if you wanted ultra zest it's right there i recently sold my backup bottle i have about 20 mil or 15 mil left uh, i will never buy that again for a reason it's so expensive now but if you love orange this next one is not the same but it's essence of orange this is not the most natural uplifting fresh classic top seller fragrance called clinics happy for men um, when we were students one of my friends uh, or younger brothers used to have this fragrance we used to go to his room he was a rich guy <laughs> and uh, he used to have this fragrance 50 ml or smaller bottle and every time i smelled it for the first time i saw this orange atomizer i fell in love with it immediately and i'm like what is this and i saw the orange bottle it looks really intriguing it looks like orange right and i sprayed it like this okay i sprayed on me i smelled it i fell in love with it after five to ten minutes i was like where is my fragrance you know it did not have great longevity but i remember the opening man but later when it becomes a little bit old performance gets better but nothing crazy some people get even six seven hours i don't know how but this is a happy fragrance if you never had it try it uh, the special the new fragrance lovers uh, new fragrance uh, enthusiasts this is a perfume you need to try one of the best ever made this is for the oranges this is clinic happy for men i think this also got lemon next one i love it if you know the note of tamarind which is not used in many fragrances this one utilized it and I love this fragrance from House of Lalique. This is one of the underrated fragrances. People who know this, they cherish it. This is Lalique's white, okay? There's EDT version, there's EDP version. You can get either one, they're great. EDT projects more, EDP lasts longer. That's how it works. But this fragrance is similar to Galloway by Parfum de Marly also. And it's a better value than Galloway for a reason that price tag is so much affordable. It does have decent longevity, five to six hours, but Galloway will last, oh, 10 hours plus in that way yeah maybe that's a better value fragrance but la like costs so much more money than this you can buy like four or five bottles of this for one galloway and the fragrance is 125 mil that's what makes it a great value such a clean musky um you can say unique sort of this ambergris sort of vibe going on absolutely classic absolutely handsome um it that tamarind note it's interesting i think one of my fragrances, oh yeah, very nice, peppery, uh, that, oh, fresh, mm, really nice fragrance. Uh, if you know CH Man, I think Insignia or one of those fragrances, not Insignia, there's one, um, the blue bottle, I think, yeah. Um, I forgot the name, Central Africa, one of those had this tamarind note, but this one, it's more um, easy to find. Lalix White for Men. So that's number eight, I think. Number seven, if I made a mistake, number seven, yeah, number seven is this one, Dolce & Gabbana light blue sun for men this is a limited time release and i bought it immediately i saw the juice color at the bottle i'm like i love this line i reviewed many this fragrance oof, great under the sun fragrance okay it has a coconut sort of like a crunchy coconut and then followed by the light blue 
DNA, but this bit unique in the opening, okay? Longevity is good. So you get the suntan lotion vibe. If you know this perfume, I'll show you. If you know this fragrance called Holiday by Mancera, the juice color, man, these juice colors are everything. This is one of my vintage bottles. If you love that fragrance, you'll like this because they are the same way they are built, okay? Absolutely uh, like a masculine, also, you know, fun, you know, by the beach, you're looking at the ocean, just relaxing. You can take it for the holiday, you'll enjoy this. A lot of flankers are good, some of them are bad, but this is one of the good flankers. Uh, if you like coconut, you can try it. Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, sun. I think this is getting rare to find now. Number six, then we hit top five. Number six is a niche fragrance from House of Mancera, which is called, I forgot the name, Wild Cherry. Sorry about that. Uh, I had this fragrance long time back. I sold it, I bought it again. Unbelievable longevity, okay? Let me tell you, if you don't take a shower, this fragrance will not leave your sight. Uh, this fragrance is good for cherry lovers, okay? I have had few cherry-based perfumes, which I love. Amazing cherry-based fragrance like Pure Havan. And then I have uh, Black Perfecto from Guerlain. Um, the few other ones. But if you like lost cherry and you want much better value, get this one. Uh, under $100, you can find these. If you actually like that cough syrup uh, cherry note or you like those candies, you know, they sell at Shell. I always say that with the tin can. This has that uh, medicinal cherry amazing as a beginner you'll not like it but once you crave cherry if you actually ever had cherry this fragrance man the value cannot be oh very potent it's almost like halloween candies okay so definitely check it out uh wild cherry is one of my most favorite cherry based perfumes okay from mancera so top five let's talk about lemon a little bit okay this perfume is a think unisex or both uh, only female oriented fragrance but i bought it because when I sprayed it on me, I fell in love. The opening, it's the, one of the best lemon, like Edition Blanche by Chanel, is one of the great lemons. Chanel Allium Sport Cologne, that's great citrus. Um, some of the lemons like Lemon Lime, great lemon, but this one, Happy Chopper, Lemon Dolce, or Dolce, <laughs> don't know how to say that. This is that line, okay? Uh, the line of Happy Chopper. There are few in the line, but this is my favorite. Uh, the fragrance morphs more into floral, some of the more feminine touch, more unisex style, but the opening, you cannot deny the fact it smells like, man, pure quality. It's just lemonade, you know, they make uh, some of those fragrances, um, I don't know, cosmopolitan, no. A um, few of the other ones, they make those lemon-based drinks. It, it's just that. It's just, man, it's absolute massive beauty. You know, the opening, it's a hidden gem. You know, if you put this on, you get used to the dry down, it will be one of the best your go-to summer perfumes, so good. It's like candied lemon, okay? So this is why this is so high up in the order. Great longevity, great cap, heavy cap, great bottle, okay? The Don't buy retail, you'll be okay, okay? So this is Happy Shopper Lemon Dulce, number five. I'm sorry if I said the name wrong. <laughs> number four, uh, it's raspberry time, okay? And raspberry-based fragrance, you guys know Tuscan leather? You know that. But Tuscan leather now is so expensive. Live comb is expensive. So there are a few other alternatives, but recently my favorite is this. This is the Raspberry Overloaded. This is Ahmed Al Maghribi's Leather. One of the best fragrance I bought last year. One of the best. One of the best easily. Performance from this stuff, groundbreaking. La Yukon lasted how many hours? This one lasts the same. But the only difference between the other ones, like from Haramain or uh, Rasasi's, uh, this is much more affordable, one thing. Second thing is the Raspberry is amped up. Like the made is so much more fruity. I love leather oud. Okay, that's great. But this perfume, man, it smells like straight up Tuscan leather, but just so much fruity. It uh, there's a kind of like a dirty leather note that I find Tuscan leather could be challenging to some, but this will be much more appreciated, more polished, amazing longevity. So this is called Ahmed Al Maghribi leather. That's number four. Number three, number two, number one, all big fragrance. Number three, I put Hachivat. Why not? You know, I was going to put Jeremy's Office for Men today or uh, Elysium, Elysium or Dior Sauvage. They all have the fruity vibe or maybe Bleu de Chanel or Aventus. People are like, where is Aventus? Where is Aventus? Where is the pineapple? I put, pick something like Aventus today. Uh, this is Hachivat. This is a solid performer. Newer batches. Doesn't last as much as back in the days. Still, you get seven to eight hours easy, which makes it great offering. Uh, Nishan is great quality. Okay. So check it out. Nishan Hachivat. Uh, Musky. Sort of pineapple, lemon, all this mix. And uh, the performance is like, it's like a thick uh, existence on you, okay? So that's number three. Number two, 
another men's i had to put this this is called sicily and this is grapefruit okay grapefruit is used in every fragrance almost great great fragrances but if you want to smell natural grapefruit juicy and then some sort of ylang ylang you know like some other notes it's a very uh, unisex style perfume some people may say this is that bit feminine it's okay if you don't like it don't use it but the smell man it's so juicy when i wear this i go out if let's say i'm going to be out almost all day i need something to perform in summer this is one of them like most of the manseras out lemon mint they all last this one sicily you must must try okay juicy grapefruit you want to drink this stuff that good that's number 2 let's go to number 1 i know i already talked about apples but i talk about green apples let's talk about golden apples uh kind of like a fresh uh, my favorite fragrance of my this is my signature scent i am just happy i have a 200 ml of hugo boss i heard steven from redolence say hugo boss i think perhaps that's the right way to say it, but i love to brag about hugo man it's hugo boss you know you try to sound more trendy <laughs> uh, but nonetheless hugo boss bottle it's such a love in a bottle the original okay uplifting apples a little bit citrusy a little bit sweet a little bit cinnamon it's it's a smell everybody knows anywhere you go you recognize this immediately one of the most common smells everybody owns this at some point of their lives if you like golden apples try this hugo boss bottle number 1 today so do let me know what you think of this list and uh, how you uh, have you ever tried all of them uh, if you didn't try i highly recommend get a sample or go to a shop spray some okay you may like them okay thanks so much for watching summer is kind uh, summer is kind summer is coming so be prepared with your freshies have a nice day good night from dhaka bangladesh bye bye